This week we got a new trailer for Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. The latest trailer for Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song goes over the abilities plus playstyles of three main characters you can choose to play, Galeb, Laisha, and Mem. In past trailers we got introduced to each of these characters, but here we finally get to see them in action. We get a brief look at some puzzle solving deception as well as more non-diplomatic strategies handling things by force. Galeb, the oldest vampire, seems to play things loud by taking out enemies fast. Laisha, on the other hand, is more discreet, taking on different disguises to investigate. While well, Mem uses her popularity to take the diplomatic approach. A video was also released going over the different skill trees, plus talents and traits. In case you missed it, Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song is a narrative-driven RPG set in the Vampire the Masquerade universe, part of the World of Darkness. Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song is coming to Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Epic Game Store on May 19th. Babylon's Fall, the latest online co-op RPG title from Platinum Games, had rather a quiet launch, but despite its humble beginnings, developer Platinum Games aren't going to slow down on its development. In a statement released by the developer, Platinum explained that there are no plans to reduce the scale of development on Babylon's Fall. Content up to the end of Season 2 is now practically complete, and we have started work on Season 3 and beyond. The developer has already outlined a slew of content following Babylon's Fall's launch, which included a free The Eternal Ziggurat battle pass covering the new game mode duels, an upcoming large-scale update, a limited time event crossover with Nier Automata taking place at the end of the month, and an additional story update called Resurgence happening in April. In case you're curious about Babylon's Fall, be sure to check out our Babylon's Fall first impressions and head to our Babylon's Fall wiki for all the latest info. A demo is also available on PlayStation, Babylon's Fall is available on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and PC. Godfall will be coming to Xbox and Steam on April 7th under the new Ultimate Edition. The action RPG will join platforms Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, as well as PC via Steam. Previously, the title was only available on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and via Epic for PC. Godfall was originally released in 2020, introducing the co-op slasher Looter, and since then has received updates including Lightbringer Endgame Mode and the expansion Fire and Darkness. Recently, it was announced Godfall would be receiving quite a hefty free update called Exalted, which will also be released on April 7th, not only bringing gameplay improvements to Valor Plates, but combat features such as Knockdown 2.0 feature and a new game mode called Spirit Realms. Godfall Ultimate Edition will feature the previously exclusive Ascended Edition, DLC, as well as pre-order bonuses. Xbox Series X and S will receive exclusive enhancements such as variable refresh rate and Dolby Vision for HDR-capable displays. The full price will be $39.99 USD on Xbox and $29.99 for a limited time only launch discount. Want to know what we thought of the game? Check out our Godfall review, ARPG Loot Fest Action. The next Genshin Impact update is just around the corner, releasing on March 30th, bringing a whole new area to uncover called The Chasm. Titled Zephyr of the Violet Garden, version 2.6 will continue the story ties of the Traveller Twins, and Kenria will finally be uncovered, according to the latest press release. Players will be able to visit in Azuma situated on the other side of the sea to meet the newest five-star character Kamisato Ayato and join the celebrations for the magnificent Iridori Festival. Genshin Impact is available on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PC, iOS, and Android. CD Projekt Red confirmed that the highly beloved Witcher game series will be getting a new entry. The game is confirmed to be a totally new saga for the franchise, which makes us only assume that Geralt will no longer be the main protagonist in the game. Our minds can go wild with speculation as to who our main hero or heroine will be this time around. CD Projekt Red have confirmed that they'll be moving away from their in-house Red engine. Instead, they have partnered up with Epic Games. The entire technical development will go into this unannounced Witcher game will be on Unreal Engine 5. It was also confirmed in a tweet from the official Witcher Twitter account that the game will not be an Epic exclusive. We currently do not know who will be the star of the show this time around. The image shared in the Twitter post shows a medallion, which could be a cat, but some speculate it looks more like a lynx. Are you guys excited to hear that another Witch game is on the way? Let us know in the comments below what you think it's going to be about. A new roadmap was released for the MMORPG Guild Wars 2. One of the biggest reveals was that the fourth unnamed expansion will be worked on. In fact, the confirmation came extremely early as End of Dragons, the third expansion, released just under a month ago. While no details have been discussed, the confirmation signifies the long-term commitment that the team 
and NCSoft have for supporting Guild Wars 2 for many years to come. The game at ArenaNet will also remain committed to considering World vs World a cornerstone game mode for Guild Wars 2. They are putting systems in place that will make the game mode easier for solo players. Matchmaking will soon be implemented for players who go in solo or do not have guilds. World vs World will also be more fulfilling to participate in as reward track progress is being sped up. Guild Wars 2 is currently available on PC with the latest expansion, End of Dragons. Amazon Games has revealed that their roadmap for New World this year, which covers spring to autumn. The content heading our way includes new expeditions, a couple of new weapons, events, PvP content, a new area to explore, and much more. Previously, the Heart of Madness update was revealed heading to the game this spring, adding a new expedition called Tempest's Heart, a new weapon called the Blunderbuss, new PvP content with a 3 vs 3 arena, and PvP reward track. There is also the conclusion to the storyline for Isabella. The Blunderbuss is described as a ranged weapon that offers players a high level of mobility. It also does some great close to mid-range damage. It's the first weapon to scale with both strength and intelligence. The weapon has two weapon masteries, containment and chaos. There is also a new trailer for Blunderbuss that will do Guy Ritchie pretty proud as it introduces the abilities of the Blunderbuss in a very unique way. In summer, players will be introduced to another dungeon called Barnacles and Black Powder Expedition, a new Expedition Group Finder feature, and a summer event. As for autumn, players will get a new area to explore called Brimstone Sands Territory with new Unseen AI, a new Expedition called the Enid, a new weapon, a great sword, leaderboards, and two events. The exact dates for each of these updates have not been revealed yet, but it seems to be a steady flow of content on the way for New World in 2022. The upcoming tactical turn-based RPG Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters has gotten a new trailer that showcases Nemesis Force weapons. First to be introduced is the Nemesis Force Halberd, giving an advantage to the Grey Knight as they can strike first before the enemy can attack. The Nemesis Demon Hammer, on the other hand, inflicts further damage when physically charged. In case you missed it, Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters is a turn-based tactical RPG following the Grey Knights on their mission to put an end to the Bloom. The Bloom is described as an intergalactic plague of cosmic origin being wielded by Chaos who are on a mission to corrupt worlds. Putting together a squad of Grey Knights choose their skills, abilities, unlock powerful equipment as well as their classes. Each champion can be built with unique standard and advanced classes, as well as fully customizable with voice, armor, and facial options. Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters will release on May 5th for PC. Well, that's it for the week in the wikis. Please join us again next week for yet another great week of gaming. Remember to check out our VIP program for some exclusive supporter benefits. And budding writers should take advantage of our Become an Author initiative. Thanks again for being part of this great community. Keep checking in with us with news, reviews, YouTube streams, and vids, and general wiki goodness.